In this video, I show you how I make this cute little tropical acrylic sunset painting in my sketchbook. In my last video, I got a lot of comments asking for videos about the other sketchbook pages I had in my sketchbook I flipped through, so here's the first one in a little series of videos I wanna do. This painting took me probably a half hour max to do. Messing around, experimenting with color. If you do this too, keep it loose, keep it simple, keep it quick. Don't worry about all the details, just keep it fun. So we've got our Canson XL Mixed Media Sketchbook. We have an array of different acrylic paints, just different brands, and a whole bunch of different kinds of brushes. I'm starting out with a flat brush, and I'm mixing up a pink using magenta and red and white. You can just use primary colors. I like to have magenta in the mix because it makes some pretty pinks. But I'm making this pink, putting it up at the top, and then I'm slowly lightening that pink down a little bit because I want to create a gradient in the sky, make it look like the light in the sky is shifting from pinks to yellows to oranges, just to make the sky look really dynamic. I'm adding a little more yellow and a little more red to my pink color so we can start to get it shifting towards orange. Scraping my brush on there, you can see I'm not using a lot of water. The more water I use, the more my pages are gonna bend when I'm painting with acrylics on paper, so I kinda wanna keep that to a minimum as much as possible. So you can see I'm using this almost dry brushing method. On the horizon, I'm making a little more of some pink colors to have some definition there. But it really, you don't have to do this like background sunset sky colors exactly the same way as I do. Just get some pinks and oranges on your paper because this is all gonna be in the background anyway. It's not the focal point of our painting by any means. So just kind of make something pretty and something colorful. And we're gonna put some stuff on top that's gonna be the more important part of our painting. Here I'm adding some light yellow that I mixed up, just white and a little bit of yellow and I'm taking my flat brush and I'm just putting in a little bit of color where maybe the sun is shining through and breaks in the clouds. And then I wanna have a, just a little more definition to my horizon line. You can see that my horizon line is not very straight. I'm bad at drawing straight lines anyway, but I wanted to fix that up just a little bit and then make it so it looks like maybe there's some darker clouds in the distance that are picking up on those red colors. And now I wanna make this pinky purpley cloud color using blues and magentas and white. I'm taking a big flat brush and using like a dabbing and circling kind of brush method. I'm kind of brushing in quickly these different cloud shapes. Just loose, just willy nilly. I'm kind of just putting them in wherever I feel like, getting a composition that I think looks nice and fun. And I just wanna make this sky have a little more interest to it. Like we've got some pretty clouds sitting up there in the sky. Add a little bit, tiny little bit of water there so that my brush is just flowing nicely with my paint so it's not getting too stuck, especially when I'm doing these clouds. And I'm kind of just scraping my brush around, trying to create some kind of like wispy effects by doing smaller lines really thin light brush strokes. And then I wanted to add a little more light coming through on those little yellow streaks there. Like the sun is just really shining through those areas. So it's just like a little bit of a brighter yellow with maybe a little more white in it. So from here, I'm starting to make the color for our water. And our water is gonna reflect a lot of the colors that are in our sky, but I wanna kind of simplify it a little bit because we got a lot of colors going on in our sky. So I made this peachy pinky kind of color and I'm really loosely kind of just scrubbing this paint on the center willy nilly again. I'm not worrying too much about being perfect here. And then I'm mixing up a darker color, like a purpley kind of color. And I'm gonna put that on the edges so that we can kind of see that with the way the light is reflecting on the water, the central part of our water is going to be lighter, like there's light reflecting on it. I'm using the word light so many times. It's finding the horizon line a little bit more with it. Again, look how wiggly that horizon line is. I am no good at drawing straight lines, but it does not matter because this is a very quick sketchbook painting. Again, half hour, I'm not gonna worry about making my line straight. I'm taking this purple too and I'm streaking it through the water to kind of give a little bit of indication that we have waves happening back there. It's very loose, it's very quick. I just wanna have some watery kind of wave-like textures happening there. And then I'm just filling in, darkening up the little edges a little bit more. And I'm taking a little bit of a lighter pink. This pink is probably a lot similar to the color of our clouds. And I'm just streaking that across, just giving it a little more dimension, a little bit of color variation. And then I clean up my little palette with a little scraper knife. It makes it really quick. I don't know what I'm doing here, I can't remember. 
Oh, and then I want to I want to add some highlights to our water as well. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing up a little bit of an orangey kind of color. I want it to reflect those bright parts in our sky in the background. And then I'm taking my flat brush and just like pretty minimally scraping my little brush across in some streaks to create some reflections of light. Now I want to mix up a dark, dark purpley kind of color. This is going to be our sand. It's really dark, getting dark, the sky is getting all sunsetty. So this sand color is just a place for us to put some bushes and some little trees and things like that. Don't worry too much about it. This is just a base for us to start putting on our silhouettes of our foliage. So I took straight black here and I'm taking a fairly thin brush and I'm starting to draw on some little leaves that are maybe right on the beach and kind of hanging off into the water. I'm taking a really thin liner brush here and I'm drawing out the stems of these little like palm fronds. Really quick little brush stroke motions tapering off at the very end to make, to make these little palm leaves that are coming off the stems. Giving it a very tropical look. Again, very loose. I'm going very quick on these. I'm not worried as if they're clumpy or uneven. Not worried about it at all. Now I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm dragging it all the way up, just a couple inches from the top. And this is gonna be the trunk of our main palm tree here. And then I take that same brush and a thin side and I'm drawing the little stems basically for the palm fronds that are coming off of the tree, just so I can get an idea of where they're gonna go before I go all in. I like to do that first. And then with really quick strokes, kind of picking my brush up at the end so it tapers off a little bit, I'm drawing on the little leaves. Very quickly, very quick streaking motions. You can see they're kind of messy, but it's got a neat look to it, a neat like organic brushstroke kind of look, very painterly, which I'm into and what I'm trying to go for for this painting. And then here, this is really unnecessary, but I added some like lighter highlights. I took a dark green and kind of added some highlights to the palm fronds, then made a light brown, added some highlights to the trunk. I ended up not loving them, so I'm kind of just like brushing by them here in this tutorial. So don't worry about it, but if you want to add those details, go for it. I'm taking my thin liner brush again, and I'm adding a couple more little foliage leaves right there in the corner. I just want my composition to look kind of neat and cute. I was feeling like that corner was kind of blank. So I'm just throwing in some leaves there because I thought they looked nice just to complete my composition. And then at the end, I forgot to add some little sparkles and a sun in the background. So I'm just putting some little speckles of light there. I put a little sun in the middle. And then that is my entire sketchbook page. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. The raw footage is up on Patreon for everyone who donates to me. And I will see you in the next video.